My name is Matt Imonetti, and I'm the CTO and co-founder of Splice. Splice is a cloud platform for music producers. What that means is that we took the creation tools that musicians use every single day, and we built an ecosystem around it. We started by building a version control system for music, a little bit like Git, but for music data. Then we moved on and created a more social experience around collaboration, a little bit like GitHub, but for musicians. And finally, we built a subscription-based marketplace for samples, loops, MIDI, and presets, a little bit like maybe Spotify for samples. Our users range from bedroom producers to top artists. They use our platform every single day, and then they trust us the same way you engineers use maybe Bitbucket or GitHub. They push terabytes of music data every single day. And we cannot afford to go down. We cannot afford to lose any content. Now, building such a system is not easy, and we have a pretty small team. We have a service-oriented architecture with more than 400 web services. We also use multiple data stores, and we develop on, on Mac, deploy on Linux. Now, using multiple data stores is great, but it also comes with some subtle issues. A little while back, um, we started seeing issues with Elasticsearch, our search engine. We started seeing errors coming out randomly in prod, and we also saw some weird behaviors. And it was funny because locally in dev, we could not reproduce the issue. CI was running fine. We could not even see the problem on staging. And it turned out that one of the nodes in prod was using a slightly different version of Elasticsearch, and that really was the root cause of all these issues. So we switched to Docker, we moved everything into containers, and we started using Docker for Mac recently. Now, the beauty of such a system is that we use exactly the same environment from dev to CI to staging and to prod. So if it works locally, it would work all the way to prod. Now, remember, we don't have any ops engineers, so the less time we spend debugging, the more time we can build really what matters. But what's also amazing is that when it comes time to update one of these data stores. We just need to go into this one Docker Compose file, bump the version of Redis or Elasticsearch, and all of a sudden, the same system, the same version is used throughout the entire stack. And that's amazing, because that allows us to really spend time doing what we care the most about. As a matter of fact, the Docker experience is so seamless that if it was not for the small, cute little icon in the Docker, in the menu bar, I would totally forget about Docker. David, one of our engineers, even added shell aliases, so we don't have to remember the Docker command. We just have these nice little shortcuts that allow us to run te the entire test suite, start different services, or run spe special commands directly from our shell. We use different local editors. We use local files, but everything runs into containers. And that's really a big benefit for us. It allows us to really focus on what matters the most, which is building a product and delivering value every single day. And speaking of delivery, we deploy our backend probably between half a dozen to a dozen times a day. And because the entire system is consistent, we don't have to worry too much about that. And that's really, really, really nice. But as a co-founder and CTO, the biggest value of Docker for Mac is that I can get a new team member up and running in no time. This is huge. We used to have this README, and I'm sure a lot of you have that, but like this long README that tells you how to set up the local environment. You have to pull a bunch of libraries, compile them, data store set up, everything else. And on your first day, usually what would happen is your first commit was updating this outdated README. And that's not a very good experience. Now, this is the past. We moved on, and you just need to install Docker for Mac, pull the repo, and you can commit code and create value within five minutes. And this is huge for the company, but also for the developer. On the first day, she can provide value within five to 10 minutes, and that's huge. Now, Splice and Docker share the same philosophy. We believe that by streamlining and improving the creation process, both musicians and engineers can spend more time doing what they do best, and that will have a direct effect on their lives and ours. That's why we're very proud to be using Docker and Docker for Mike. Thank you.